tutorial on how to make freezer jam uh, and the kids are gonna hopefully we do it before they eat all the strawberries this is so easy um, and your jam's gonna last a year so we've got uh, eight cups of strawberries three cups of sugar a cup of water we use this pink box of pectin um, it's a less sugar or no sugar um, box it works really well and then you need canning jars and strawberries and some cute helpers and that's it. So the first thing we have to do is we have to hull the strawberries. We've got to get the hulls off. So you can use a knife, no problem. We have a couple special tools that we've bought over the years. If you have something like this, this just kind of pulls the top off. We're gonna to have to do this for all eight cups. So this goes to our chickens and that we're gonna use for our jam. We also have this other pretty neat tool and it grabs it like that, pulls out the top. And then, and, and then it gets eaten. <laughs> all right, so we're about to do that with all of these right here. All right, so we are gonna try to crush these up. Here we go. So the measurements here are really important. You gotta be exact. And I'm a little low, so you can see about a half cup low. So we're gonna crush up just a few more strawberries and get up to that full four cups. That's what we need, four cups of crushed strawberries. No, I won't. <laughs> okay. All right, so we have our four cups of crushed strawberries. We are going to put in this saucepan three cups of sugar and uh, the box of pectin and stir it together uh, with a new spoon, not that spoon. <laughs> Okay, good. Go, go ahead and pour it in, yeah? Great job. Charlie, you're doing the next one? Okay. Alright, this is cup three. Yep, flatten it on the top. And then Brooklyn, you can add in the pectin, okay? I want to add in the pectin. Well, you did no, one of the sugars. No, Brooklyn is. Because you got to add in the sugar. Okay. Brooklyn now. What's up? Hey Brooklyn, you're gonna put in the pectin. Just gonna tear open the top and add it to your saucepan. Tear. You roll like you roll like What does the pectin Let Daddy maybe let Daddy help you tear. Right across the top there. There we go. And this is the pectin. It just kinda looks like powder. Pour the whole thing in? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Does look like powder. Powder. Yeah. Okay, you gotta stir it together. Make sure everybody gets a, a turn, I guess. Okay, you're not going. Oh, I'm not going to go. Yeah. Almost. At this point, uh, we're actually almost done. So you wanna have your jars ready and sterilized, a ladle. We're gonna add one cup of water to this mixture. We're gonna bring it to a boil over medium high heat while we constantly stir. We boil for one minute, and then we're gonna combine that with our fruit uh, and stir for a minute, and then we ladle, ladle it in our jars. That's it, we're almost done already. You guys are doing great. So, um, Winnie, you can pour the water in carefully. Now, yeah, mm -hmm. careful. Both hands. All yeah. of it? All of it, yeah. Mm -hmm. But don't spill it on your hands. Good what job. The, spoon? the spoon's okay, we'll, we're gonna stir it in a minute. All right. Wow. Okay, we're gonna stir that together. We made a huge coin. What I have ready here are um, sterilized jars, and um, these are actually new lids. Um, if you sterilize your lids, you can boil them. And a ladle, and then a little funnel. And I've got the four cups of strawberries, and then we're gonna combine it all in this bowl, which just has strawberries in it. We're gonna combine it all in there once the mixture has come to a boil and boiled for one minute. The stove tap is a medium high heat. You stir constantly until it comes to a boil. Then you boil for a minute. 
remove from the heat and add it to the crushed strawberries. You stir that for a minute and then you're done. You ladle it into your jars. That's it. So I'm just stirring this constantly, waiting for this to come to a boil. All right, we do this for one minute, one minute exactly, and then combine it with the fruit. Okay, so we take it off the heat. It boiled for a full minute. We are gonna combine it with the crushed strawberries. And we are going to stir that for a minute. And then that's it. So then you just ladle this into your jars. You wanna make sure you leave about a half, half an inch of space at the top because you're gonna freeze this and it will expand. And that's it, that's all you gotta do. Thanks for watching. This is the finished product. It turned out great.